morning. I am driving to an estate sale of a lady who owns an estate sale company. The pictures online look beautiful and I've met her in the past. She's so nice. I've been on her property before. It's awesome out there. She has a barn where she used to do barn sales occasionally, but she sold the house and is selling what looks like a lot of her really beautiful belongings that I'm sure she's collected over the years of doing estate sales. So I'm almost there and I'm gonna bring you guys along to see what I can find. I just parked my car. It's crazy crowded here, but let's go see what's the damage inside. Okay, I'm already heading back home and a quick recap is I was super sad when I walked in at first because it, it was completely wiped out. There were especially these two green canisters. And like I said, I think I'm gonna to try to show you some pictures online because I just love how she had everything styled before I showed up. Um, but there were those two green canisters that I thought I was definitely gonna snag no matter what the price was and they were long gone. Apparently it had been really crazy in the morning, which is what I expected it to be. I wanted to come after that wave of people, but if you wanna get the good stuff, you really do have to get up there early, wait in line, get your number, and then you get your turn to go in. Um, and so this was definitely one of those cases where you needed to be there early. Uh, the lady who does these estate sales, she's very well known in our area. So for her to have that publicity on Facebook already and then be able to post about her sale, it was just, she had a lot of traffic. So I'm not super surprised by that, but I am really surprised by what I was able to get, which was this really amazing pine chest of drawers. It's really big, but it actually fits in my car, which I was super surprised about. Um, and I'll show you it when I get home though. It's beautiful. I need to sell it because I paid more than I would want to. I mean, that's kind of silly to say. I paid 200 for it, which for a solid wood piece of furniture is not that bad because it's really, really large. And if you look at new furniture nowadays, I mean, I know that that's a really fair price. I just wasn't prepared to spend that much on myself today. Um, so I feel like I should sell it and I can easily double that price in the shop just because I'm gonna have more time to wait for my buyer than she's doing at the estate sale. So that's kind of the benefit of going to an estate sale is you can normally buy things a little bit cheaper, hopefully, especially if you go the second day when things are half off. Um, and then I can make a little bit of profit on that because I'm doing the work of loading it and unloading it and cleaning it up and all those things. Anyway, I definitely think I could double my money on this if I sell it in the shop, but I have a feeling that when I get it home, I'm going to love it so much more and that is kind of the problem that I always have with the things that I buy that are super cool. This one's amazing. It looks handmade. It's probably super old. It's just this pine chest. I would never paint it. It's beautiful exactly how it is. Um, and then I bought a couple other things which I'll show you as soon as I get home and unpack. So I'm back home, everything's unloaded and just prepare to see the most beautiful piece of furniture you've probably seen in a really long time. Well, here it is. This is a beautiful antique pine chest. It's in really great shape. It's a little wobbly like in this bottom right corner. So I'm just going to put some nails in there to make it nice and sturdy again. Absolutely not going to paint this. I'm just going to take some hemp oil and just rub it a good rub down. That'll get it nice and clean and then hydrate the wood again. And it will be ready to go at that point. I'm going to look around my house and think about where I could possibly fit this because it's amazing. Um, I did pay 200 which is a lot of money, but I think I was saying earlier, I think I could probably charge closer to like 475 in my shop for it. So I just really have to decide on that trade-off here or maybe just sell something else in my house to keep this. I don't think all the knobs are original or maybe not any of them, but they are pine knobs so they go well enough, but man... This is my favorite thing that I've found in a long time. And I hadn't even seen this in the pictures to know that this was coming up. So this is an exciting buy for me. Um, everything else that I got is kind of scattered around, of course. Um, I got this little children's hutch. This was 75, which is also a lot of money. I think I can charge closer to like 140 for it though. Super cute. And then I do have the little missing piece of wood that's in that bottom corner that's kind of broken off down there. Um, but I think it's adorable. Woo. It's perfect size for my little toddler here. Miles, can you open that door? Can you open it? Look at that. It's a perfect size. <laughs> Good job. 
So cute. Good job, bud. And then I got this basket of just Christmas decor. I paid 15 because I think in the shop I could charge closer to 30 for that and not have to do anything to it. Um, so I was happy with that find. And then just a little enamel pot, which I thought with it being red for Christmas would be nice in the booth for $5. And then I paid $2 for each of these just black hardback books. And I think I'm gonna put some kind of IOD transfer on the front to make them a Christmas item as well. here it is after its first layer of cleaning I just wanted to give you guys at least a little bit of a look at how it'll be when it's all finished and cleaned up um, I have a lot of cleaning ahead of me and I've already cleaned it longer than I thought I would for this first round but it's coming out so beautifully um, I really need to just take every drawer out and do the inside too and just make sure that the wood is in the best condition possible for me to sell it again but man, this is definitely one of my favorite things I have seen in a while. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments and what you would pay if you came across this piece. I guess I'll let you go there for today. Thank you so much for spending this Saturday morning with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!